Hi everyone, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to convert from standard form to vertex form without using the formula. Here's an example one, without, here's an example, this is in standard form. Now, this is in standard form. So the first thing you wanna know in order, to, we, uh, in order to do this, what we need to first do is we need to identify what A, B, and C are. So here A is two, sorry, A is two, B is 36, and C is 170, okay? Now, we're gonna use this formula. So this is the formula, this is the trick, this is the trick. Wait for it. Take H is negative B over 2A. It's amazing, right? Wow, it's really amazing. And this is gonna save you a lot of work, unlike completing the square, which takes forever. So here it is, so it's negative 36 divided by two times two, which is basically negative nine. So that's your H. Now, if I want to get K, all I do is plug negative nine into, I just plug negative nine into this equation, okay? So here K is, what I'm going to do is wherever I see X here, I'm going to replace, in this equation, I'm going to replace with negative nine. So it's going to be two times negative nine squared plus 36 times negative nine plus 170, okay? Now, if you do all the, so if you do all the math work and algebra, this should be equal to eight, okay? So that's your K. So now, if you want to get into vertex form, we know the form is Y equals A X minus H squared plus K. Here A is two, so all we do is replace A, A H K by this corresponding numbers. So here A is two, here X, H is negative nine. So when you're dealing with a negative, don't forget to put a bracket because it'll help you to, because a lot of kids forget this part. And then if we simplify this, we know a double, a negative gives you a positive. So this would be X plus nine squared plus eight. And that's in vertex form. So you, why it's so beautiful by doing this form, using this formula over the completing the square is that when you're dealing with, uh, with word problems, Right, or if you uh, deal with the word problems, or or if you are dealing with a test question, you want to save time, right? So this is the best way to do it, right? This is the best way to convert from vertex form to standard form. Okay, uh, best way is by using the formula. It's the quickest and most fastest way, unlike completing a square, which takes a longer time uh, time in a test. I hope you like this video. Do me a favor, like, comment, share, and share with someone who might benefit from it. And if you need help with uh, math. Uh, you can email me. My email is in the description of, the, in the description of this video below. Ciao.